Well, good morning and welcome back to the channel. This is Gary from ABC Electric. So, um, I'm going to get you into a video uh, shortly about, uh, it's my first real effort about fitting some sockets uh, and other things in a, in a flat. Um, and I've learned some very interesting things this week um, from doing my first video, which is that um, I'm about as photogenic as a fly licking a turd. Uh, I'm putting on a few pounds, I speak outside of my mouth, and I'm going a lot bolder than I thought I was. So on that happy note, um, let's get into this week's video. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, like and share, and, uh, and put anything any comments uh, in the section below? Cheers, let's get into it. Morning, welcome back to the channel. This is Gary from ABC Electric. Right, we're doing um, a little job at a flat. Um, well, we've got to upgrade the consumer unit, sort out the meter cupboard a little bit, adding some extra sockets, trying to find a fault uh, on the lighting circuit because I did an EICR here a while ago. Um, so I'm going to try and flip the camera around and show you this meter cupboard first, which is really interesting. So here it is. This is the meter cupboard. So let's look at it in a bit more detail. So here we are in the lounge. Um, I started this job yesterday. <laughs> Here we are, uh, just chased that boxing, uh, which hopefully you should see a time lapse video for. So, obviously, I've done safe isolation. Uh, this box is on, on the uh, skew, um, so it's fitted. I always love this sort of work. It's fitted with galvanized clout, and this one's just bent over in the back of the box. So, I'm going to wrestle this box out, uh, and it will be a wrestle. Um, without trying to make too much damage, I'm trying to keep, I wouldn't normally use the multi-tool by the way, uh, but this is like a medium density concrete block, a solid one, not a hollow one. So it's not like a thermalite, but it's also not like a, not like a really, really tough one, you know, um, so it's somewhere in between. Um, still takes plenty of uh, elbow power to smash it out by hand, um, and an old multi-tool blade won't cut through it. Um, so I might just go around the edge of the box. In fact, I'll do it now. Um. So that's relatively well freed up. Um, I've just got to wrestle it out now. Let's find some tools. Let's try first thing, get a pair of players on it. And that don't want to come out. That cow's a nice cloud in there. So, what we're going to do is try and. Little, I love these. See if we can. Uh, try and that out a little bit. No grommet in the box. Right, there we go. Um, pulled this capping out here. I don't know if I can zoom in on this. Let's just try. Can't zoom in or out. Fair enough. Let's try that button. That just stops the video. <laughs> right, um, so 
I've leveled some lines through there. Um, I've just cleaned this existing box out a little bit. Um, and I can get that sunk in now to the same height as the others because this one was on the <coughs> was a, a bit wiggly on the skew. Um, I've cut this capping off here um, without damaging this cable. Now what I'm going to have to do, um, this was an existing socket, that's an existing cable run, I'm not going around the corner. What do you do? Because there's rules and then there's, there's, there's being on site. So we're not far out of our 150. Is anybody going to drill a hole under here? No, it's still that bit there, it still isn't in the prescribed zone, but I didn't route that cable. So I think to be practical, to not say, to not make this job five or 10 times bigger than it really is. Um, and that considering that's an existing cable, I'm going to bring that cable through the bottom right of this box here. And then I'm now going to chase a new cable in the prescribed zones for the rest of the run. Um, but again, speaking to an ICIC yesterday, there was a double socket here. Um, I'll, make, I'll make a note on the certificate saying the cable isn't in the prescribed zone. I'll put a photograph of, of what I've done um, and where the existing is. <laughs> I'm not responsible for anybody else's work. Um, I'll cut you off there. <coughs> So I think I'm now on the uh, Bluetooth thing. <laughs> so um, I'll show you this in a bit. Um, pretty impressed with it actually. Um, good tool. Pain to set up. Once you've got it and you leave it on your grinder, uh, invaluable. Right, hello, back again. I'm just going to uh, mark out my chases. Put the vac attached to this, give this a whiz, and uh, we haven't cheated down anywhere. So, uh, fingers crossed, we're not going to spend the rest of the day vacuuming. Um, we'll give it a go. So, there you go, pull the new cable in, that one, there, right at the end, 150mm, squeeze it into the prescribed zone, yeah, into the box, that's the existing, there's nothing I can do about that, so the new one, in capping, now, this medium density concrete block is a bit of a pain because you can't screw straight into it with a drywall screw. I tried it. Some some blocks you can thermalite. Sometimes you can get a nice fixing straight in the mortar. It's not having it on this one, so unfortunately I'm having to uh, drill and plug it out. Cramp. <coughs> Too much time bent down. <laughs> so um, drill and plug it. Um, if necessary, 
little tip that I've found with these is don't push the wall plug, roll, wall plug, roll plug, whatever you want to call it, all the way in because it helps when you're fixing it if you don't push it all the way in to spray one out. I'll just, uh, I'll just drill one in this section here at the end and then you can see it. So, is that on the camera? Just. Let's adjust the camera. I'm getting used to this. But you cramping your other leg now. Ah, getting old. <laughs> Come on, camera, work. Right. Bloody hell, I've got cramping both calves then. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I'm having one of those days. Back's gone. Oh. Right, so we. So. Here's one that I'm just about to put the socket on. So, there's my Fly and Earth lead. It's the back of the box. I just use one and a half mil single. And then I like to roughly dress my positions in. I always work with my CPCs at the back of the box. Um, what I tend to do these days is just fire them all into the same terminal. Um, so I like to leave a little bit of play on my cables. Some might say it's too much. Um, I always hate it when I'm the one that comes along and uh, <laughs> you can't get the box about three millimeters off the wall because the cables are that short. Um, so I like to leave a bit of play, dress them roughly into position, terminate like that. And then um, we'll just dress that in. So I'll show you in a sec. So, there you go. Even though I leave the cables relatively long, you can see that when everything's connected, you can't pull it off the wall more than about 100 mil. Um, you know, I know from experience, because I used to do all my own plastering and the other trades afterwards, but you can come along now. That gives the plaster more than enough room to get in. So, there we go, those two side by side the level on, Look. level, level, and then let's go between them, level, 